What's up, guys? We're at the Expo of 2019, uh, Fort Wayne, Indiana. I'm over here with uh, John Lalonde hey, uh, from Buckeye Western Star. Yep. They are doing something really cool. You like you came up with this idea, right? Uh, putting uh, these on these expediter trucks. Yep. So you guys put these on dump trucks or yeah, yeah, yeah. different types of yeah. dump trucks. But yeah. what they're doing is it's an automatic greasing. So we wanted to show you guys that, let John talk about it a little yeah. bit and uh, kind of share, you know, what how beneficial it is for, you know, truck yeah. driving. The whole idea about it is with the new engines today and the extended service intervals, like the DD13, you can, you can go 50,000 miles before you have to change your oil. And what I find is a lot of people are now extending their, their chassis lube and stuff out to that 50,000 miles, which is a no-no, yeah, you know? Yeah, big no-no. So if you're following the recommended, you know, 10 to 12,000 mile chassis lube, that means you're stopping quite a bit just to get that done. So yeah, yeah. Uh, one of the products that I came across and we use in a different different configuration on a, on a dump truck is a, a an automatic greasing system. It's, it, it's nothing new, the technology's improving, but, right. um, in this market, in this segment, I think it's, I don't know that if anybody's ever done it before, but I really like the idea. I yeah. just bought one of those uh, automatic grease guns, right. but I'm still right. having to crawl under the right. truck, yeah. you know, trying to find every little Zerk fitting, yeah. trying to get yeah. in there, getting dirty, yeah. crawling around on truck parking lots, yeah. you know, uh, just a really filthy job just to get that done yeah. because I don't trust the shops to get them all for me, right. you know, yeah. but this is just absolutely amazing. Uh, you want to show us uh, the, yeah. the beginning part? Yeah, I mean, works, basically and, back here is, is the heart of it, and you have a, a system that's all computer generated, where you can you can you know dis, you know set up how often you want it to spit grease, that type of thing, yeah. and that's all set up and in, in, at the install place. But right here is that holds the number two grease, and this is a new system. Before that, it had a special grease that you had to get that was hard to find. Yeah. This number two chassis grease is available everywhere. Yeah. So you could pull into a Speedco wherever, and you know they can fill your grease fitting right here with the hose, fill that guy up. So they just pump it into there right, and fill right. that thing yeah, up. Yeah, that's all they have to do is keep that filled. So nice. nice, it's in a clear thing, so your driver or whoever could look at it and, and make sure you're in good shape. Yeah. Um, now, does it do it automatically, or yeah, do you have no, to you don't, push yeah, buttons? You, no. Yeah, you can there program it to hit it you know, once a day, once every X number of miles right. or hours, right. you know? So right. the nice thing about it, too, is, is it's all self-contained in this little unit. One unit. So then you can pipe around or run hoses, if you will, or lines to every grease fitting on the truck. Right. So it's doing the complete front end, yep. okay? Yeah. We have a greaseless drive line, okay? So it's doing the rear end, uh, the dolly legs, and on this one, we went ahead and, and did all the grease fittings on the, on the lift gate. Yeah. Okay, yeah. you know, because a lot of guys will forget to loot their to to to, to the lube lift their lift gate, gate and you know you get uh, you get out there on a cold day and you, your lift gate's not moving, yeah. right? Yeah. So what we're planning and what we're thinking based off of how long a, a, a tub of grease lasts in a dump truck application yeah. is we think you'll be able to get about sixty to sixty five thousand miles right about out of that getting our oil changes right. Done, so you so. should be able to set it up, and go in, and you know refill that with lube and yeah. and get your in to one stop, you yeah. know. Yeah. Because again, you're at what twelve or fifteen thousand miles of, of a chassis lube, so yeah. you know it, it takes that downtime away where you it can does. you can continue to work and make money. We'll go yeah. back here and kind of show you a couple fittings. Yeah. Um, again, pretty simple, but basically we just put a, a fitting into the the, uh, the dolly leg grease box there, if you will. So that's going to continue to to stay greased and. You know, when I started installing this and thinking about it, I was like, how often does that thing really get greased? <laughs> how many times <laughs> are people greasing that yeah, thing? Yeah. You know? And I would say probably not often. Then you come around to the lift gate and you know, every grease fitting on the gate has that going to it. Okay. So and it's all set up and wired right and it's, here. instead yeah. of a zerk fitting, they have a mm -hmm. grease uh, with the tube and it just yeah. greases right in there. Yeah. So, you know. The way I look at it is lift gates are expensive. You they know? are. And um, I was just talking with the Palfinger guys over there about yeah. my lift gate and yeah. how often I should be greasing it because I know when I go get a PM service done, unless I tell them to do it, they're not it's doing not it. It's not normal. Right. Yeah, they're just not going to do it. So, And that's all set up to where those lines will, will go up and down with the lift gate and, yeah. and stay intact. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. So it's the first one we've done on an expediter. It's the first lift gate we've done. I just um, love the idea. So I'm really happy did. with the way it's come out. Yeah. Um, yeah, you know, and I, I, again, I, I think it's it's just really with two two things in thought is to keep your equipment in better shape, running better, yeah, yeah. and which you know is going to relate to more uptime. Yeah. 
you know, um, and, and, and certainly more profit, hopefully. I got to drive a Western Star just last week, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I want a Western Star now, so bad. <laughs> but if you guys are interested, give John Lalon a call over at Buckeye Western Star. You got a phone number? Uh huh. 614-323-9036. Awesome. Thanks, He's guys. building some uh, awesome Expediter Western Star trucks, so check them out. Appreciate it, guys. Thank you.